coming. Sorry to wake you, ma'am. Routine check. Can I see your ID, please? ID? Yeah. Yeah, sure. the message. I got a couple of things to explain before before we start about um, what we're gonna do, how we're gonna work, the technique, and all those things. So we just capture the markers, but the markers are really precise, including on your face. So you don't need to overact. You don't need to do ah, I mean, things like this. I mean, it's you can be as subtle as you would in a film, uh, and the technology will get it. So um, don't bother about all this and don't touch your markers <laughs> interactivity is really a strange thing compared to to movies where you, you don't need to bother about what the audience will will do because they just watch here most of the time the player will control you so in some cases you will have to um, do something and do a variation of this based on what the player says so don't be surprised you saw that in the script if sometimes you need to say yes and no and maybe. So it's a big day for two reasons, because there are, there are many pages, yeah. but also because we'll, you'll be four actors today on stage. Mm -hmm. So Blair is with us now, but in like two hours we have two other guys uh, coming, playing Paul, the father, and Corey, the young, youngest brother. You look at them. And this is where, once everybody served, you, Blair, you see that she didn't take anything. This dialogue it takes place at the end of this. So you've almost been killed. You're on the floor. Um, look into her eyes. Give this confidence you're special. Judy and Aiden's got nothing to do with this. <coughs> oh, are you OK? Yeah. <laughs> it's just it's really hot. <laughs> Okay, we should, can we start that just over again? <laughs> <laughs> okay, T-pose. Um, this is your oh, yeah. control mechanism. Totally. <laughs> cool. 
Because that the line no, with the good. apartment only works if certain choices were made. Yeah. But yes. Because in some cases he left before and I knew we. That, and why? I mean, and what have I done with that? Maybe I should just say, like, no one's ever gonna lie to me again. Go. I feel like if I open it first, it's like he could he could just grab me. Yeah. And probably the first person you want to talk to is Dawkins, but instead of saying what you want him to say, which is you you were right. Jody to make this decision and I'm with you the only thing he can say is come back and we'll talk It's Saturday night and I'm 16. I'm locked up in here and I just want to go out and have some fun. I can't do it, babe. Rules are rules. He was never seen again. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, w w why not? Hmm. Good. Jamal Sheikh Sharif. It's not your call, Aiden. I can do what I want. It's my new apartment. <laughs> wow, so when did you move in? Oh, um, a couple weeks ago. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen anyone so pig headed. <laughs> You might not get the answers you're looking for. I'm not looking for answers. I just need to see her. You lied to me. Johnny! You tell them that if they try to find me, I'll kill them. Judy, listen, I... Tell them, Nathan. Don't you have anyone? No family or friends you can turn to? There's something that I... I have to tell you about me. <laughs> <laughs>